adventures of Islamic <coughs> Day three, the big ride, going all the way out to Antrax. Okay, what time do you think we're going to get back? Probably about five, six o'clock maybe, hopefully. Sham, what time, what day do you think we're going to get back? Couple of days. <laughs> So Aki's looking to get back for about five, six o'clock. Me and Sham are trying to make it back for Christmas. We can try and make it back for Christmas, yeah? <laughs> right, so we just got off the uh, Mallorca Cycle Shuttle bus. It's about half nine. No, it's ten o'clock. We've had a leak. We're loading the routes. And we're ready to go. Ready to go? Garmin fully loaded. Right, so if you're doing the coastline route from Andrax to Palenza, um, you're presented with an immediate climb. Um, but it's not too bad. The views on your left hand side uh, really take your mind off it. Absolutely stunning route. Uh, this is going to be one epic ride. Morning. Morning. Thank you. This is why we come. Check out those views. Weather, roads, beautiful, everything. And courteous drivers too. What are you saying? Enjoying it? Loving it. Absolutely fantastic. It's these views that make it worthwhile. Where are you guys from? Where are you from? Czech, Czech, Czech Republic. Republic. Oh. First time? Oh. Many times? Six. Six. Ah, professional Six times. <laughs> we follow you, we follow you. Done about 15 miles or something from since uh, since we set off. Look at that! Flipping sick. You know, when it's going to be a tough climb and you see that <laughs> called the Bastida. <laughs> right, that's called this uh, Bastida done. Wasn't that bad. I've had more Bastavado climb in Huddersfield. Jan's over there. Sham down there somewhere. Where are we eating, lads? Don't know. Bro. Go a bit further on. Let's see if we get some of them. We've got here. 10 miles to wet before Ten. we get into a uh, piggy. piggy. So I reckon we eat now. Right, find somewhere around here. That's, that looks like a restaurant, restaurant. So should we go further on? Yeah, let's see. Yeah, I can smell fish and chips, can you? There's fish and chips, man. Let's do fish and chips. Oh, can you smell fish and chips, Sam? I can't, no. There's definitely some fish smell. You've just blown your nose out on the way up here. That's why you can't smell it. Thank you. 
You've devoured it, man. I'm hungry. I'm starving. Look, Brian. Oh, today's the ride in here. Really is nice around here, man. Stunning. Not Rick rolling you honestly. Right, where have we just hit? We've just hit Soleil, yeah? Yeah. So this just after this roundabout here. Yeah. Pooch Major. Right, yeah. Pooch Major. Pio Major. Not Pio Major. Not Pooch. Puig, Puig Major. Or Pig Major. Well, Pooch Major. I see a sign for Sacalabra there as well. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing Sacalabra today. <laughs> right, this is the deal, yeah? You're going to shoot off. I'm not shooting anywhere. Try to keep me with you, please, yeah? Do you know what I mean? And then we can just try and get you. No, no, try to keep me with you. Dark horse. You need to stop this dark horse it. business. I've been at the... He's, uh, he saves all his energy, sits on my back wheel. As soon as the climb's about to finish, leaves me for dust. Anybody knows that on a climb... You the really whole YouTube get... channel and, and all our fans know, bro. The who know the dark horse? Who the dark horse? <laughs> you all know who <laughs> the dark horse is. He's on, yeah. There he goes. He's on. The horse has bolted from the stable. <laughs> giddy up, horsey. Giddy up. It finishes at the end of the tunnel. The segment finishes at the end of the oh, tunnel. I'm not chasing those segments. I'm glad I've done it. I don't care less about the segments. Right, okay. I waited for him at the first tunnel for 10 minutes and then I got a message saying he's got a cramp. I hope he's alright. Come on, lad. Well done. He doesn't look like a man that's had cramp with his shoes and socks off. We got the message from another rider. He had his shoes and socks off. What happened? I don't know man, you know they're tight aren't they? So I think my foot had swollen. Yeah, probably with the heat and everything. Yeah, they were hurting from here. Proper hurting so. Have you loosened it all up? I've loosened it all up. And then my cleats, they f***ed. You see? So, the first bridge. Kept on clipping. First tunnel. Yeah. I waited there for you for 10 minutes. Yeah, you probably did. Huh? No, 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 I didn't. Say this guy stopped on a blue bike and he goes, Are you waiting for your mate? And, and I says, Yeah, because he's down there. Um, right. I don't think he's got a problem, but he's got his shoes off. Yeah. And I was like, Okay. And then I looked at the hill and thought, I'm cutting up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did right. You did right. I'm going back down there again. <laughs> Sorry, Sham. <laughs> You're on your own, brother. You know what? If we, if we went back down there, we probably won't make it back no, up. No, no, no. You'd have been silly to come back down. Oh, yeah, no I That's why I sent you the message. Feel free to carry on. Uh, I'd have taken it at my own pace. Just enjoyed it. That's what we're here to do. Yeah. Enjoy those, that scenery. Absolutely stunning. I've just come up there. Yeah. Second time. I don't think I beat my last time. I don't know if I've beat my last time. It's going to be close. Uh, I stopped three times. How long have you been a picture? <laughs> my legs keep locking up. <laughs> yeah, picture time. Get a, get a picture, yeah.
This is the famous uh, orange juice coffee shack. By this time we were so knackered. I'm sure we spent about £35 on orange juice. <laughs> oh dear. I'm not gonna lie to you, this is probably one of the best days I've had cycling, period. The weather was spot on, the views, the ocean, the mountain faces combined with multiple epic climbs was just absolutely fantastic. And with every climb, there's always a brilliant descent. The final climb of our ride was Pooch Mayor. It's 13.7 kilometers from the start to the tunnel. Everybody I rode up and spoke to was uh, were finishing at the end of the tunnel. Uh, so I'd probably finish there if I was you guys. It's got an average grading of about 6% according to Velo Viewer. Have a look here. The route in total is as long and as hard as you want it to be, with a minimum of around 70 miles, stretching out to 100 miles with 15,000 foot of climbing. So not for the faint hearted if you want to do the big one. Um, and that's, you know, depending if you, whereabouts you are, uh, where you're staying, whether it's Palenza or Cudia, wherever it is. Uh, it's a must-do ride, and I for one will definitely looking to go back and do it again next time we're out there.